Welcome uh, to a tutorial that I'm putting together for uh, Lightburn, um, which is a laser engraving program, very commonly used with uh, desktop diode lasers, which is what I have. And I'm going to be showing you today a couple of just uh, tricks that I found when it comes to engraving um, text around a circle uh, and, and how you can easily do that. So without further ado, let's get to the program. All right, so here's Lightburn, um, and I'll show you the kind of thing I'm looking to do. So I want to have text in a circle. Let's just make sure we get a nice even circle. There we go. Move that into the center of my picture here. So the first thing we want to do is we're going to select the circle and duplicate that circle. Um, Control D will duplicate that circle. See now we have two circles there. That second circle I'm going to put onto a blue layer, a blue line. I'm going to make that a line and then I'm going to promptly hide that from view. I come back and select this one and we're going to edit this as a path. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to create some text. Okay. So make sure we are on our black line. Here we go. Turn off that circle. So this is the text on the top. Okay, and I'm just going to narrow that down. So then what I'm going to do is select the circle. Uh, coming back to your select tool. The first thing I'm going to do is go to our nodes editor here. And these two nodes, what I'll be doing is I'll be breaking those. First of all, what I'm going to do is select that, select that, right click, apply path to text, and there we go. Now that's not quite what we want. So what we're going to do is just adjust that text there a little bit. And what I can do is selecting the whole circle, just rotate that. So this is now the text that is on the top. Now the thing is, if I then try to add further text, what you'll find is that it doesn't work because we've already got text applied to the one path. You can only have one instance of text per path. So what are we going to do? So in this instance here, I'm going to take this text and we're going to make this a path. I'm then going to take this circle and then delete it. No, I don't need it any longer. Bring up my second circle. Now I can apply that path to the text. And I can again arrange it to there. Now you can then just flip that text around. And using our text tools here, I can determine where I want that line to be.
once we've got that done, again, all I'm going to do is select the text, arrange that as path, that locks it in, and I can then delete, finally, guideline, and there we have it. And fill, this is the text on the top, this is the text on the bottom. So there you have it. It's it's really that simple. Um, just uh, play around with it, experimentation, and uh, and you'll find it's it's actually a really really handy tool to have. Until next time.